What's up, everybody? It's Cash Flow Nexus, the channel of faith, trading, and wealth, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial markets. And today, we're going to be looking at XRP. We're going to see what's going on with XRP, so stay tuned. <music> you guys we are back i appreciate you guys for being you know coming to this channel subscribing to this channel if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button let's get this video up to a thousand likes share the content because we give you the latest and greatest technical analysis and the latest and greatest news on the market and we give our bias of what's going on but before we go into that i have to give my uh i have to shout out jesus christ my lord and savior because he has done so much for me he has been a tremendous factor in my life uh, if you don't know jesus christ for yourself i encourage you to seek jesus christ for yourself get to know him because we are living in times where we don't know what direction we're going to take but jesus christ will lead you in the direction you need to go he said acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy past and that means in anything and i, I have a testimony to give because you know, living my life as I, I have lived, uh, Jesus has brought me far in what I have become. And so I have to be, uh, you know, open to talking about the Lord because I have to boast about my, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it's just one of those things where you don't hear a lot of people boast and brag about Jesus, but I have to. <laughs> I have to because he's done so much for me. Uh, I've come from... Uh, you know a lot of things and you know it's one of those things where sharing my testimony may help you overcome your trials your tribulations or whatever you're going through in your life so if you don't know jesus and when you find out that jesus is all that you need your life will change completely I, i'm telling you so i boldly profess that and if you don't like what i have to say then that's fine because i'm not here for views i'm not here for a following i'm here to push the kingdom i'm here to glorify jesus christ and i have to say this because uh you know jesus is the truth the way and the life and he's the only way to the father and i like xrp i like crypto but jesus comes first and that's how my life has always been so i just want to show my face be transparent with you guys and you know it's time to start pushing the kingdom it's time to start doing things differently uh you know crypto's cool and all but jesus christ is better all right i just wanted to say that i always have to acknowledge my lord and savior jesus christ before i get into it that being said we're going to jump into this uh news i hope you guys are ready for what i have for you guys today it has been a long ride in this crypto space and i know a lot of people are you know just going crazy seeing how prices have been fluctuating and all that but we're about to get into this uh, i am going to be looking at the charts in here in a bit uh, i do want to show you guys some things first let me go ahead and get this set up all right there we go i do want to get some stuff set up for you guys uh but we are going to get into this news all right so let's go ahead and get into it all right so we see here as i'm looking at the news shout out to fresh in the discord group uh, group chat for this article i posted this in my uh, facebook group so if you're not in my facebook group here it is right here if you don't follow me on facebook or follow my group page or my business page definitely you know subscribe to that look into it i post quite a bit on there uh, i'm going to be posting more as time goes by uh, i do want to push a lot more things i'm going to be pushing a lot more different type of content as well so i'm excited for the things that the lord is having me to do and not just that and you know providing for people and helping people out and giving people wisdom and on how to trade and the style that i trade as well so i will be using that a lot more but this article is saying uh here breaking ripple scores another win as judge denies the sec access to companies legal advice so ripple is winning this case right now it's awesome to see that i do think that xrp is going to have some prices a price move up very soon uh looking at the market uh it's showing signs of the market wanting to go up so that's a good sign for anybody that's holding xrp right now so i'm gonna get my bias on that in here in a bit i do want to go over this article so y'all can read it a little bit just go over a little bit of things uh 
right here. Let's see. It says the distributed ledger tech provider Ripple has scored yet another significant win against the SC against the U.S. SC, uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, which is the SEC. Uh, Magistrate Judge Sarah Netburn has declined or denied the SEC motion to get access to any legal advice Ripple sought or received regarding XRP's regulatory status. So that's a good sign. The decision has boistered Ripple's fair notice against uh, defense that is based on the premise that the agency failed to warn the company and other market participants about the fact that the cryptocurrency is an unregistered security so uh, let's go scroll down to what was said here it says what if their lawyer told them you have you still have to deal with the sec that would be a game over for their defense that they were confused we don't know what they have have given the exchanges so you know reading all this i will post this article in the description so y'all can read it for yourself but this is something that's uh that's going to be huge especially with prices you know developing right now i do think xrp is about to uh, start moving up i do have a price target that i am seeing and i do have an area where i do think prices is going uh, i like to be patient with you no know, technical analysis because the market could change very fast it's just uh, looking at the market, sometimes you just never know what direction it's going to go in. I did call for a 60, uh, 60 cent price drop, and it did do that. Um, it went to 69, but close enough. I think it, the lowest it hit was like 65, but close enough. Uh, it has a chance of still going to 33 cents, and I'll explain why on the charts. But right now, it looks like we're going to be moving up in, uh, for the short term. Long term, I still they were bullish, so don't get it twisted. I am still bullish on the project, but I do think that price may take a uh, you know a hit to the downside a little bit. But we will see. I, I'm gonna give you my bias for both scenarios, so we could go over that. And I do think that XRP is gonna be uh, a good hold for the long term for those that are in XRP. So let's go over the chart right now. This is the beautiful XRP chart. If y'all don't know already, I trade the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo style of uh, trading. Uh, a lot of people don't understand how to read this or know where to begin with this. But I'm going to just break it down simple and you know show you guys a few things in what I see in this market. Don't mind these lines. That's for more advanced Ichimoku strategies. But I'll show you guys what I'm looking at right now. I do see that right now, our current day right here, this purple candle that you see, uh, we are trying to push higher. We did hit uh, the low of this day candle was 79 cents. Uh, if you had got in on a short trade when I called it up here, then you should be good. But right here, this is our low at 79 cents. Our high for the day is 91 cents. Uh, price is trying to push higher. I do think that price is going to try to push to a dollar nineteen, dollar twenty region. Only reason why I say that because we have this C clamp formation with our Kijun and our Tinkinson. Those that don't know the styles uh, Ichimoku, you could go to my older videos, or I'll link some videos in the uh, you know in the description. So you could see and you know learn on how to use Ichimoku as well. But right here, this is saying that we have the markets out of equilibrium. So we might get a pullback to a dollar twenty cents. That's what I'm seeing so far. And if we don't get to a dollar twenty cents, I'm looking at this area, this fractal level, at a dollar seven, and maybe even right here if we zone it between a dollar oh three and a dollar oh seven. That's what I'm looking at for first price movement. I do think we're going to move up higher for the short term and then we may get a bounce back down to the downside or we may come up here then get a bounce back down to the downside because we have not tested this breakout yet at a dollar twenty cents so if we could get that retest there because we are forming a double top bottom right here if you see it could maybe push lower maybe even right here and push back up maybe even to the 130 range but we are looking to push a little bit higher i don't know if we will come all the way to a dollar 20 cents that's what i'm eyeing and making sure you know watching the market in that area i also see price still continuing to the downside if we do you know fail to you know go higher from this point price could still easily push to the downside from here we are underneath the cloud on the daily time frame 
and also on the four hour time frame we're underneath the cloud as well chico spends underneath the price so price is you know starting to range on the four hour time frame so we might see some more sideways action for the next maybe a day or two before we decide what direction we're going to move in so this is what i'm seeing for the market so far uh let me know your you know your y'all's thoughts in the comments i definitely like to see what you guys have to say uh because it helps me you know understand the sentiment of the market get inside the brains of uh you know what people are thinking in this market and i think it'd be good to you know you know take that into consideration as well but that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this uh you know this review and this analysis on uh you know xrp i, I definitely like to know your thoughts uh definitely smash that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll figure out what's gonna go on until next time god bless and peace